So it's uh, year two of the Quill administration for Kate Beecroft. And I think to probably you've had the most uh, interesting year of all the people <laughs> I'm going to talk to, because this time last year, I kept pushing you about, you know, what happens if you get moved or it doesn't work out and you're going, I'm here forever. This is a job I like. I'm not going anywhere. Mm. Is that I, and I wasn't till I got sacked, was a bunch I? Of flowers. Is that really, really true? This bunch of flowers business? Sorry, but. Not in the hospital. Okay. No, it wasn't. So the paper was slightly over uh, Sorry, the, the, the flowers arrived at the hospital yeah. and the notice that we had to have a conversation arrived at the hospital. Right. Okay. I so wasn't actually sacked till after I got out of the hospital. And there's no way but around what it. Is, what is yeah. very upsetting for me is that actually people, some people, outside of government knew I was going to be sacked before I did. Okay. And I'm not talking MHKs, I'm talking completely outside of Tinwolf, which I find very um, unprofessional at least, shall we say. You, as I said, had a passion for that particular job. I did, and job. still do. So you're not going to go anywhere else? You, you, no, you, you're, no. Are you no, going no, to be no. that rock violet which you used to be, we refer <laughs> to that? Are you the one that's going to be constantly... This was my inside. brother who referred me to me as a yeah, Rottweiler, okay. not you. <laughs> no, but you know, you've used that with <laughs> you me. You just picked it off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but are you going to be that, that thorn in the side? Of it's not a question of being a thorn in the side. It's a question of when you're elected, you either go into government or you challenge government. You ask the questions that need to be asked, one or the other. When I was health minister, obviously I was in government and being health minister was my job. And you can't ask other ministers' questions. Um, in turn, all the keys, you have your opportunity in the Council of Ministers meeting to ask any questions that you want to, or on an individual basis. Um, now I'm a backbencher and I'm doing my job as a backbencher. I did my job as a minister and now I'm doing it as a backbencher. And that job is actually to question government. And they, sh they shouldn't have any worries about answering your questions if everything is totally above board and everything's fine. Are you making yourself available to be rehired at any future reshuffle? Or has your relationship with Mr. Howard Quayle broken down? I mean, how do you describe it? I mean, your relationship now after the sacking, as you use that word, which, okay, it was, but it's a- It was a, a sacking. Um, I resigned, but obviously it was a sacking. I was left with no choice. Uh, it was resign or be sacked. Um, so- oh, So on, on paper, actually, you resigned, did you? Yeah, on well, paper resigned. Right. But it was resigned or be sacked. Um, Did you so want to just let him sack you then? Would you? I was very tempted, but as I was going off island the next day, it would have meant leaving control of the timing of that totally in his hands, and I wouldn't have been there to answer, right. um, obviously, any questions that were asked about it. So, so what is relationship like then? I mean, is it, could you go back into government if you if you offered it or would it never happen? Well, the only it? position in government that I would ever want is health. Oh, you're keeping to that, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and I really cannot see um, the current Chief Minister offering me that. How else has your year been summed up? I mean, besides... Well, busy. Um, yes. Uh, yes, very busy. As I say, sometimes, sometimes it's, you're very busy as a minister. Don't get me wrong, I'm not underestimating that. And I work my socks off in health. Um, but you can be equally, if not more so, busy as a backbencher, depending on how many issues you take on to look at and to delve into. Um, for instance, this summer, um, I thought, oh, I'm not a minister and I'm not even a, um, a departmental member. My summer's going to be quite free and I'm going to have some time for myself, for, which is something I haven't had time for many, many years. Um, but then, of course, I decided that after the Tinwald um, debate on the Media Development Fund that I should actually start oh, yes. collating all the You've got your fingers in that on one that. again. I mean, you've well, you've always, always been uh, on that since the, the film industry as such. Now it's the Media Development well, yeah, Fund. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was what, following the film industry stuff since about 2008, I think. Did you destroy it, do you think? Do you, do you think you had any act in, in, in curtailing it at all, the, or the whole thing? Do you think, because you were constantly asking the questions, do you think that did lose confidence in the film industry here? Well, did we have a film industry here? At, that, at the time that I was asking the questions, because everything changed, mm. don't forget, in 2007. Mm. So you tell me how much of a film industry so we've had on the Isle of Man since that date. Prior to then, that was a different story. But once the VAT uh, regulations changed in 2006, yeah. and things had to change in 2007, that's when the £50 million pounds got put over to Cinema NX. And that was the point that I started, to, well, it was the following year I started taking... And now this development fund, what, there's 50 million in that, isn't there? This, this, the current de development fund, there's still a fair bit of money that's in it. 
Is this what you're, you know, you're asking questions about now, the Media Development Fund? Well, I can't ask any questions now because it's going to public, well, it's gone to Public Accounts Committee, hasn't it? So right. I can't ask any further questions. So my summer has been spent collating the evidence that I've gathered over the last 10 years. Um, so you're ready for, a, ready for more information? Uh, no, more ready, and I'll pass it on to whoever's going to be looking at it. Right. Okay. Um, because if you look around, there isn't anybody who's had that history with it who's going to be eligible to look at it, who, you know, who doesn't have a conflict or something. Um, so I've been collating it to make the job as easy as possible for them to follow. Um, I think I'm up to something like 47 files at the moment for them. Is, um, is there a, a smoking gun in there somewhere? Is there something that's really, really going to come to light that's gone terribly wrong or someone's done something they shouldn't have done? Or I couldn't tell you that. Well, how could I tell you that? Okay. Right. Well, moving on. You're still head of Lib Van. Yep. You lost a member though this year, of course. Yes. Now let's go through this one because this is happening, of course. And you know, we, again, we talked about this could potentially happen. I think in our last interview. Uh, what, what's the take on your side about Juliette leaving you? What's your take on on the whole situation? I think that's entirely up to her what she chooses to do. End of story. Uh, Laurie Hooper is deputy leader. He's been with us since I think it was a year after. The previous general election so he was with us for four years um, before he stood for us um, in 2000 and what was it I was 16 <laughs> yeah <laughs> God doesn't time fly it does so yes he'd been with he'd okay. been a long-standing member by that, that time and I think this is actually where it's gone wrong we've had people standing for us that haven't been with us for a good length of time haven't been there supporting the party, haven't been turning up to meetings, etc., etc. They've just walked in and been our candidates. Mm. And it's disappointing. Well, I mean, Bill Malarkey, previously, and in, in the previous administration, admittedly, but do you think something has to change? I mean, is it your leadership that's at fault? Are you authoritarian? Are you, push, Sorry? Are, you, are you too authoritarian on the moment? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm not. I think maybe sometimes I'm too much but the other way. It, okay, is it your leadership um, that's... Uh, problem then I mean I'm sorry be, I mean, I'm just asking I don't if, know. It, if it is um, I w if somebody told me if like if Laurie said to me or what or the member said to me you know you're the wrong one to be leading the party um, then I would step down as leader as I say Laurie would yeah. is, is going to make an excellent leader in the future so are you going to step down at some point during oh, this of term well, during this term oh I don't know about that you might stay to the end on, the, on this okay as leader I, yeah. I really don't know that we haven't had that discussion but what I'm saying is if if if, Liberal Van, if the Liberal Vanning Party decided I wasn't the right person to lead it, and maybe I'm not. I Did mean, Laurie's young, he's enthusiastic, I mean, he's got all the energy and go, and he's got one hell of a brain. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. He's got one heck of a brain on him. How do you get removed anyway? Is it voters' confidence, or do you just have to you know, outvoted by somebody? I mean, is, is there a mechanism there for oh, these there things? there is a mechanism there. It's in our constitution, okay. but if people wanted me to go, I would just happily step down and let somebody take over. Are you happy in being the leader? Are you still enjoy what you do? Yeah, of course I enjoy what I do. Do you ever see progress though? To you know, from three back to down to two again. That must be a blow, isn't it? Because you, you, you of lose that sort of. Of course, it's a blow. It, uh, but these things take time, and I think, I think the problem is, there's a lot of people who will support us in the background, um, but the Isle of Man being what it is, they don't, they don't like to be seen, um, as supporters of ours, but which is a shame. Do you think party politics has a future then? Yes, I do. I think that's the only way. I really do. I think if you haven't got a party structure that holds you together, um, you're not going to weather the storms. So what else in this last year of, of note that you'd like to remind us of that you've done? Anything you're very Funny enough, actually, about? when you were saying about my leadership qualities, it reminded me um, of something, if I may, go back to health. Hmm. Um, some, uh, a presentation ha was being given to Timbal members and I thought it might be a little bit hostile. So I only asked two of the officers to be with me because I thought it's not fair exposing everybody else to possible hostility and your difficult questions and putting them on the spot. Um, and anyway, I, I, one of the officers came through and said, um, there's a couple of the directors who would actually like to come to the presentation with you. I said, don't tell me who they are. I said, go back and tell them that it mightn't be pleasant yeah, it mightn't be the sort of enjoyable presentation that they used to. Um, and if they still want to come on that basis, I would very much welcome their support. And you can tell me who they are at that point. 
but don't tell me who they are so that they can back out if they want to without me knowing who they were. Next thing, every single director volunteered to come and support me. Right. And that I didn't ask them, it wasn't expected, it wasn't even wanted. And I don't mean wanted in that yeah. way, it wasn't, do you know what I mean? It wasn't yeah, yeah. something that I said, I'd said I would like this. It hadn't happened. I'd made you feel good, that? Oh, you're not kidding, did it make me feel good? And afterwards, one of them said, we wanted to come because we wanted to support you. Yeah. I thought, how nice is that? And, and then people say that I can't lead people and I can't get on with people. And, and I'm thinking, what, what is that but evidence that I can? I was minister, they backed me to the hilt, every single one of them. Well, you sack slash resign and next door to you now in Timwell is, is your, your new health minister. How's your relationship there? Absolutely fine. Get on very well with David. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And, and do you back him then? I mean, yeah, it, of course. Yeah, because you, you could be, uh, much, well, you're, you're going to be a thorn in the side of various people over the, over the next three and so years, aren't you? Again, it's that thorn in the side. Why would it be a thorn in the side? by asking legitimate questions that people want okay. to know the is, answers Is it too to. cosy in there now, still? I mean, after the year two, I mean, what do you think? Because you, you've gone you go much, much further and, and much more hostilities in the <laughs> past. <laughs> what much goes more. on now is nothing, is it? That's what I mean. Do you think it will just <laughs> deteriorate? Do you think the Howard Quayle administration will run out of steam? Uh, Am I the right one to judge that? I'm only asking. You got I an opinion. I don't know. Well, don't forget, um, you stood to be the chief minister. The, I did. And do you think now, even now that if it came up, you would still like a go at that? Um, gosh, I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe we'd, better, we'd be better waiting till Laurie's leader and put him up for it. I really don't know. You're asking me questions okay. I haven't given any thought well, to, Paul. Let's look on to next year. Besides the Media Development Fund and that sort of thing, have you got anything you particularly want to do, like uh, get, get an act of your own underway, anything that you, you need, that's desperately you think is important to be sorted out? Yes, I think there's, um, oh, you've, you've caught me on the hop now because I'm rubbish at remembering names. Right. Um, but there is a piece of legislation in the UK that means that politicians and public servants are accountable and we seem to be very lacking in that regard I mean you can show that somebody's done something wrong and what happens nothing it's all lessons have been learned and we shouldn't do it and do you know what I mean um, and more I think, accountability then yeah how do, you, how do you deal with that though? as I said there is a piece of legislation oh, right. that I very briefly looked at um, what UK a couple of months ago, yeah, right. and uh, somebody pointed me in that direction. I thought, oof, that's, that's worth having a look at to see if we could implement something like that over here. Okay. Um, because we definitely need something. As I say, everybody says, you know, you can prove somebody's done something terribly wrong, um, but there's nothing ever happens. Did you answer that pad question about how you split your, you know, national sort of work? Although you don't have any, do you have any boards or anything you're on still? I mean, you're splitting time between constituency and national government, if you understand. That was How the much time you put, yeah. up, put into constituency work? Slash, you know, opposite the... Do you know, it's awfully hard to actually measure because a lot of your national stuff ends up getting blurred line going into constituency yeah. Yeah, and yeah. vice versa because whatever you bring up, um, like the half tide dock or the health thing, you get people from all over the island contacting you. Yeah. Now, some of those are going to be your constituents. So how, how do you split that time up? And how do you split your research time up? Um, direct. Do you have a feel to it? I mean, it, did you actually answer that for them, that question? I did. I, I can't remember who I didn't. I did. Okay. Um, I can't remember if I said 5 or 10%. It was a sort of a real. Oh, quite low then. If you, if if you, you actually try and yes, this separate. This is just constituency yeah. work. It doesn't affect any national issues. And it's just for constituents. Um, because an awful lot of constituents' issues actually are to do with Dunsborough Council for housing and things like this. So you pass them on to the local councillors. You so really, you're just a conduit okay. for where they want to go. Are you still enjoying yourself? <laughs> of course. Will I'm. you see your term out? Oh, who knows? No, I mean, you, 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 my plan is to plan at the is. moment, but who knows? Um, you never know what's around the corner for you, Paul, do you? We've got to do loads of interviews this year. We haven't really talked too much this last few years. So I don't know what happened, but it maybe you're back. By. It I mean, you by. Have, yeah, you know, 
you, you've been quieter maybe than normal overall, but you seem to be firing again on all cylinders. Is that a fair assumption that I've made? Well, you have to be quiet when you're in the Council of Ministers. That's your job. Yeah. Except for Was it very just... frustrating? Now you're outside probably. You know. <laughs> Tell us. At Did times. you really? At times, mm. yes. At times. But you want to go back in if you could? If I could, right. with the right Chief Executive and with the right Chief Minister. Fine, that's asking a lot. Okay. It isn't it just so that's we... a bit like um what's it, whistling in the wind? Is yeah. that what they call <laughs> it? Something Should like that. Should we conclude with <laughs> some numbers? Now you didn't want to give me a number last year uh, on you said oh, but you did you no, definitely said this year you would. You kind of you indicated something I think you get you gave uh, yourself but you didn't want to give the government on something. But anyway, it doesn't matter. This year, out of ten, first of all you, how do you think you score yourself out of ten? Do you know, I, was, I have given this some thoughts since I got your email telling me I had to. Well, I was trying to be more, um, you, uh, I just wanted people to be, give me do something. You know, do you know the problem? I think the longer you're in Tinwald, it's the more you realise you don't know mm. and the more self-critical mm. you become. I would give myself, I would say, somewhere between a seven and an eight this year. Okay, should we say um, 7.5? Yeah, okay. halfway. Um, I'm taking for, half this year. effort, I would Give yourself <laughs> 10. <laughs> I think More the, than 10. I think you have 10 for that last year. <laughs> and now, the quail administration, I use that word quail because I think I'm sure that's just scratching away at you there. Isn't I could have said government, but am I just being, I'm just being naughty there and I'd best say that. But okay, the government. You are, but it, you're right. It is the quail administration. How do you rate the government? I'm not prepared to do that one. Got to give me a number. Why? Come on, just give me a number because I really want a number. Good, just whatever you think. 99. Out, no, out of 10. Out of 10? What, how do you rate them out of 10? 0.99. Oh, 0.99. Less, <laughs> so less than one. Look, you know you're not going to draw okay. me on that. Well, we'll you take that. I'll take it. <laughs>